Welcome to the Soul Eclipse Sagittarius video. So we currently have basically the new moon in Sagittarius and we're going to have the sun in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a fire energy and we have Mercury, the planet of communication and mental activity joining. With all this fire energy, it's really fueling us about our creative ideas, what we want to do. There's a lot of new doors opening and we just had on the 30th of November, a lunar eclipse in Gemini. And now the solar eclipse in Sagittarius on the 14th of December, 2020. This is our portal energy <laughs> of stepping into a new reality and basically manifesting for the next six months. Now, during eclipses, especially a lunar eclipse and a, and a solar eclipse, they happen like this every six months apart, you know, give or take. When this energy comes together, it's a lot about releasing, purging. This is the time where a lot of our deepest fears, our insecurities, our pains, what's holding us back, our shadow self. It's The shadow self is basically the parts of yourself that you don't generally come into contact with, you're not aware of, but now it's in your face. <laughs> and you gotta deal with it, and you gotta heal it, and you're gonna work with it. What are your fears and what is holding you back? What is basically disconnecting you from your heart? Fire energy is all about the heart. It's all about our passion. But we need to be very careful about Sagittarius energy because it's fire energy. Whatever you feel and it's ruled by Jupiter, it will expand it. So if you are in conflict, it will expand your conflict. It will expand. People will feel aggressive or feel abrasive. It's all about communication. Remember, we have Mercury joining the party. So what are your thoughts? What are you thinking about? How do you communicate? How do others communicate with you? What are your creative ideas? What do you want to create? This is the time to do it. This is the time to contemplate because this energy is going to take us into the next six months and we're going to be working with it. So whatever ideas you have now will basically start materializing and you'll be working on it and moving towards it. New doors open during eclipse cycles and doors close. So don't be heartbroken now when doors are closing, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to even your physical health. This energy is making an aspect to Neptune. Neptune is a planet of infection and also delusion and i say infection like you can feel sick you can you know be open to those energies because this is what's coming about the planets are as above so below so what's happening up there is basically affecting us sending us frequencies of energy that we physically mentally emotionally and spiritually feel that lead us moving forward so what's holding you back it's also with that Neptune energy that we have to see the delusions, see the deceptions in our relationships with other people, with ourselves, what beliefs are, that you have within you that are holding you back. The South Node is in Sagittarius. So when I say nodes, I'm talking about nodes of the moon. The North Node is in Gemini. The South Node is in Sagittarius. And this energy is what's basically bringing about these eclipses and with the south node in Sagittarius it's a lot about releasing like karmic energy things that you didn't know things that you were doing that you believed in that aren't serving you it's almost like just believing in something and then one day waking up and thinking oh wow <laughs> my ideas and my perception of that whole idea has changed you know, it's like when you wake up and you think about integrity in a different way. It's not just about, maybe you thought about integrity was, oh, okay, I just have to be open and honest and that's fine. You know, but now maybe you'll be looking at, at integrity is like, ah, when it comes to my relationships, where's the boundary? Am I being honest when I don't speak about where my boundaries are as well? So it's about changing your perceptions and beliefs. It's not just like, okay, I'm always open, honest, and that's what I expect from other people. But it's also about looking about deeper. Maybe you are open and honest and truthful, but you don't have any boundaries when it comes to other people. You're not telling them when 
oh, that was offensive. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm not comfortable with that. Are you having that kind of integrity? It takes us very deep into Sagittarius season when it comes to our belief system. And that is what we are changing, how we perceive things. What did we think was okay? And now we are awakening to, okay, maybe what I was thinking about that thing isn't just the way it is. Maybe there's a deeper way to whatever it may be, whether it's integrity, whether it's um, relationships. Even if you think about relationships, I'm an open, honest person. I'm very giving in my relationships. That's what I expect. But then maybe you lacked boundaries and thought, okay, maybe I'm doing this out of balance. So it's about changing the way we approach things in Sagittarius. And that's about relationships. And then also our energy of self-worth. When it comes to jobs and opportunities and finance and creating all those things, you know, we have settings within us that sometimes tell us our worth. And we don't aspire more or don't think we are limitless. We, we put limits on everything. We put limits on what our worth is. So this energy is opening us to let go of that limit that we set for ourselves and open and expand our energy to, a, you know, achieve what we didn't expect before. And that takes work to go within yourself and see where you're holding yourself back. Did you think maybe, oh, I'm only able to earn this amount. And now you have this energy to basically break that limit that you've put on yourself. Maybe I'm only worthy of this kind of love. Maybe no one will love me. All these kinds of things. Maybe I'm unlovable. Maybe I come from a very, you know, uh, a lot of baggage. And now I feel like I'm carrying that and I don't deserve more. But yeah, you are like letting those things go, realizing your worth, realizing about self-love, the love you give to yourself. How do you feel about yourself? You are a divine spiritual being and are completely worthy of all that you desire. And it takes a lot of belief and it takes a lot of self-work and it takes a lot of being able to say no to the things that you don't want. And that's hard. <laughs> Saying no is hard saying no is not an easy thing because sometimes we got to ruffle feathers we got to say how we feel we got to put ourselves out there and all this energy is about communication yes the gemini lunar eclipse on the 30th of november brought a lot of facts to light that's what gemini does it gives you the information what you do with it how you incorporate it how you work with it how you use that information whether you had to stumble upon, you know, a deception or maybe a deep sadness, a deep wound. Gemini puts it out there. That's the fact of it. That's how you're feeling. It's that duality energy. Look, you know, at both sides of a situation. See the good and the bad to it. Now that you know, Sagittarius is saying, okay, now you know. You got the information. And Sagittarius is the house of higher learning higher education so it tells you okay you've done the information now it's taking that information adding the practical and seeing how you can work with this if there's a deep sense of sadness within you where are you lacking where's the self-love are you giving yourself love are you letting your mind just go on a loop and think negative things about yourself about yourself we've all been in you know difficult situations but this energy of Sagittarius is here to basically bring this light, you know, this light within the darkness to illuminate it, to shine and say, okay, yeah, maybe there are some troubling things happening around me, but I can still find my hope, my motivation and inspiration. That is what Sagittarius is. It's the embodiment of hope, optimism, opportunity in our optimism. That is Sagittarius, and that's what we're doing. Be gentle with your body. Solar eclipses can be intense. You can just have headaches. You can feel stiff. Your body can feel like it's really taking, you know, like you. it's difficult to get out of bed because a solar eclipse really activates us. <laughs> you know, it's like a surge of energy. If you think of, you know, the sun, it's powerful. So a surge of energy coming through you is like going to jolt your body. And yes, that aspect to Neptune does make us more prone to infection. So it's important to take care of our health and also deception. Where are we being deceived or deceiving ourselves? And here we have a grand opportunity, 
I know sometimes a lot of difficult things can happen during eclipse seasons because it is trying. We can go through loss. We can feel sad. We can feel like we are losing hope. <laughs> but it's so important to know through all of this, there is hope. The hope is still within you. And that is Sagittarius. That's that fire within everything around you. It's showing you like there is a new way. Just because that relationship didn't work out, just because that job situation was really, really tough and you or something terrible happened or you got information that wasn't pleasant. It's just redirecting you in a different way. When doors close, it's just pushing us in a different way for a new adventure. And that is Sagittarius. It is the energy of being able to go through a new door and walk into adventure, into something different, to experience something different for the rewards that we receive in Capricorn and so forth, which we'll be going into after Sagittarius. So it's about being able to be like, okay, it didn't work out. But you know what? I know when your door is opening, it is the way it is. That's how life is. Things change. It is Sagittarius and Sagittarius is a mutable energy. When I say mutable, things change quickly. What you might think is happening today won't be happening tomorrow. And you might be thrown a few curveballs during this eclipse cycle. But roll with the punches, embrace the changes and flow. We are made up of water. We're meant to flow. We are not meant to resist change. We're meant to be open to change. So open your heart and your energy and walk through the door of change and have a wonderful experience. Yes, you might feel sad at times and that's okay. Nurture and be gentle with yourself, but know this is a point of awakening to a new way as we go through this energy preparing us for the next couple of months, six months going into 2021. So enjoy the solar eclipse, embrace the energy, no matter where you are on your spiritual journey, know you evolving, awakening, transcending, shifting, learning, exploring, and going on a wonderful adventure. And that's part of the adventure. Sometimes we gotta go through the woods. And that's part of it. But there is always light at the end of any tunnel. There's always a way out. There's always a new way. There's always a new path that's lying, you know, in front of us. We just need to lose the fear and let go of the past because the past can hold us back. But the South Node isn't Sagittarius. It is dealing with the past. So don't let the past stifle your growth. Think of a plant. Plant, you'll plant a plant and a little pot plant and it's growing. And the next thing you know, your plant roots are coming out. It's outgrown that situation. It's time for a new, you know, a pot plant, a bigger one to move into that. That's a change. Sometimes we outgrow situations and we need to allow ourselves to grow, to evolve, to embrace the experience of this beautiful spiritual journey. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe.